Hi, Floss Tube. This is Angel from the Elegant Thread coming at you again uh, with a little update. So I made it home from all of my travels. Uh, I was in obviously Nashua, New Hampshire, because I kept sending you all these <laughs> video updates from there uh, at celebration of needlework. And then I took a few days kind of vacay and I went up to Maine and uh, I went to Shabig Island. I sat on the island at an inn looking out at the water for a few days. I didn't take off work so I had to work while I was there but uh, what time I did have I spent stitching and it was lovely. So a little escape uh, that was great and now I'm back. Uh, I'm back I live in Washington DC and I am I made it home so I've been home just a couple of days doing my laundry finally catching up and uh, I already gave you one update video on the haul that I brought back from celebration of needlework that was the those were the items that I got from um, the classes and you know things that I that I did there that were part of celebration of needlework now is the update of what I bought <laughs> so the haul update uh, it's a little embarrassing when I lay it all out uh, usually I like to have like one project I'm working on and maybe one started I might have like a really really old one from 2006 that I just haven't finished but now I'm one of those people right you know the problem is you shouldn't watch floss tube because we're a bunch of enablers is what we are. I see what other people are doing and none of this stuff is even what other people were doing. Those things are really great. Oh my God, uh, I was participating yesterday and today in 24 hours of cross stitch. Thank you, Jen Lee. I probably got about 12 hours in. Uh, I did sleep, so uh, I'm not that hardy, but <laughs> I've been working on her birthday sal, which she'll be you know, 50 by the time I'm done with, with that because I am now officially the world's slowest stitcher. So, um, yeah, yay, 24 hours of cross stitch. Uh, I have no idea where I was going with that, but <laughs> uh, I'm looking at it. I bought, while I was there, uh, the people who were next to me, the booth over, were these wonderful uh, people, May Ann and Gary Bush from Bush Mountain Stitchery. Uh, uh, they're in uh, North Brookfield, Massachusetts. So uh, they were a, a, just a riot of people. And I bought a lot from them too. And I bought one of these uh, case creation stands, you know, cause that's all the buzz. And I want to put hashtag fiber talk made me buy it. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm going to go with a millennium stand and whenever I can order one and get one, because you know it's, they have a back order. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna switch over to that. This is my very first time ever uh, working with a stand, and uh, maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, because I'm a stitch in hand kind of person. I use a hoop sometimes if I want some tension, but other than that, that's the only way I've ever stitched. I've never put anything on stretcher bar things. I didn't even know how to do that. I tried to figure that out. Woo! That was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, and on the way here on the drive back, I had been, you know, I rented a, a SUV and I had it packed to the gills. Hmm. Uh, I lost one of the little screw things that holds it down, but I got it pretty good. And I'm sitting here looking at it. Let's, uh, let me see, I've turned this around. You'll probably see the back. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, <laughs> here's the back of my work. <laughs> and there you go, here's the front. Um, so this, um, you know, is my first time using one of these do lollies. I don't know if I put it on there right, but this is my 24 hours of cross stitch progress. Got about halfway done with that house. Uh, nice. Good. Still working on it. Um, but you know, it's one of those things and, um, can't say I'm enamored with it. Nope. Uh, don't think I'm a fan. I'm not, I don't know how to do the two handed stitchy thing. So if anyone out there does, I know that, um, Vanna Pfeiffer put a video up of how she does her two-handed stitchy thing. And I tried it and I kept knotting my stuff up. It just wasn't working. I mean, I felt literally like I had never stitched before because I can't stitch my left hand, right? I'm right-handed. So my, you know, if you're left-handed, you probably feel the same way. You're left-handed, you can't stitch with your right hand. But I've noticed that people use both. Like how are you supposed to maneuver and you become ambidextrous with that? With the, you put it on the bottom, your dominant hand on the bottom or the top, or how do you do that? 
because <laughs> I felt like a fool. And, um, and it took me a long time. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it on that little stretchy bar thing. Yeah. Hmm. So while I was doing 24 hours of cross stitch, uh, I know that some people were watching episodes of 24. Very cool. I've, my, one, one deployment, I will say that, one deployment. I watched every single episode of 24 because it was a long deployment. Uh, so I didn't need to see that. So what I've been doing is binge watching hands across the sea videos. Um, uh, what, is her, what is her name? Natalia Parkman? Um, it'll come to me. It's just poof, gone, which is so weird because I just watched her for like, I don't know, 12 hours, right? But anyways, there was a Fiber Talk episode and I binged on Fiber Talk on my drive up to Maine because I had 10 hours, right? So why not? And then on the way down, so I just caught up on all of the Fiber Talk I had ever not listened to. Uh, Vonna Pfeiffer said that if she would have been in the Bathia workshop, she just would have stared. Um, you know, now I'm gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna drive me nuts. Hold on. Yes, hold on. I think I'm having a senior moment. This is crazy. for a little while okay nicole nicola parkman that's why i was like natala nicola, nicola parkman uh boy is she charming uh she her her accent and her meter and the way that she talks is so soothing and she is just like everybody's best friend i, I want to be her best friend hey if i'm over there i'm gonna stop on in and have coffee because she seems like just the nicest person on the planet. So, <laughs> uh, wow. So I just binge watched her. And of course, you know, what happens when you binge watch uh, someone who's so talented and makes the most beautiful uh, samplers ever, uh, you buy them. Yeah. You just like, you're already online. And so you just click, 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 and you start buying stuff from the UK. And I live in the United States. It's a problem. It is a problem. Because I don't have enough life left to stitch all the things that I now own. It, I have now surpassed the <laughs> how long I'm gonna be around kind of thing. I better live to be like 400 because I have a lot to do. And considering the progress that I'm making, the very slow progress that I'm making on uh, Matters Choice, <laughs> gonna be a long time coming. So let's just go over all of the things that I purchased while I was at Celebration of Needlework. Okay, where in the world to start? Let's just start with something, a designer that wasn't there, um, but Beth Twist. Okay, I've, be I've binge watched her videos too, um, Heartstring Samplery, and she is also wonderful to watch and a hoot and fun, uh, yes. So I did buy something from her. She wasn't there. It, I just bought a product from her. Um, I um, bought her Cross Stitch Nation. Beep, beep. I mean, who doesn't want this one, right? It's just, it's kind of adorable. Normally I wouldn't buy, you know, things like this because um, it's kind of cutesy, but okay. It says Cross Stitch Nation. Ah, uh, can't even. Okay, so, because I think that's probably a floss tube thing now. Oh, goodness, where in the world to start? Well, let's start at the end here. Uh, there was a lady, a booth there, a celebration of needlework, who, um, a person who was not a designer, she wasn't even a stitcher, but what she did have, she sold antique or vintage, let's say vintage um, lace, and and notions like vintage uh, bits of of 
bindings and ribbons and things like that. So, um, cute, cute things. I mean, I bought this. <laughs> Why did I buy this? You will soon see. Um, cute, huh? And then she had the spool, all these wooden spools of it. And, and, and she was, it was wonderful. Uh, kind of paradise for someone who um, stitches uh, and makes little pillows and things like that. Man, I'm just catching everything on my nails. I need a manicure like nobody's business. Okay. So I got a little grab bag of hers. Uh, she says these are not snippets. I haven't pulled them out. They're actually uh, long. Let's just pull out one. Let's just pull out one to see what we get. Okay. Oh my. Okay, well you can't just pull out one. <laughs> you gotta pull out the whole thing. Okay, so she said that, um, for example, we'll pull out this one. Ooh, wow, she is right. She said there were at least, I think, uh, a yard each of, of these. So all these like vintage lacy edging. So if you're gonna make pillows, um, little pin cushions, anything that you would, probably pillows mainly. This is really great uh, edgings. Oh, look at, oh, look at that. Okay. Should I be putting this up with something white behind it? You know, I'm just off my game. Hmm, who knew? Uh, okay, all right. Well, I gotta find something white. <laughs> okay, I, I would be the neighbor here. <laughs> well, I can't do white on white because then you can't see it. So, never mind. This is what you see. <laughs> okay, that's that's cool. I, I think I really like that. And, and look, there's like this extra band at the top so you can put that to what you sew into your pillow and then you just have this. Okay. Wicked cool. Oh, these really are nice pieces of lace. This is a grab bag and uh, it was like, I don't know, $10 or something. So, and you, it had a lot in it. So I thought, hmm, uh, you'll see I have some pillows I might be making. And uh, these would be perfect. And they're all different widths, you know, like maybe like half inch, one inch, like three inch, you know, big stuff. Uh, lace, also a little crocheted edging. Sweet, sweet. Uh, more crocheted edging. You know, I used to see stuff like this in my grandma's house and I was like, oh, who uses that stuff? I mean, what, this is like so old. But now, now that I, <laughs> I, I have started to finish things and do stuff, I'm like, oh! Yeah, okay, how life changes, right? So, oh, look at this one. And I'm starting to notice more like the intricacies of things. And now that I know about lace making, I'm, I really appreciate uh, this. Yes, it's fantastic. Oh, we have one more, one more. Oh, like roses on there. Oh, wow. Okay. So I will be making some pillows. And um, I noticed on one of Nicola Parkman's uh, Hands Across the Sea, her floss tube, she talked about when she had edges of linen left over, she saves them up and then she binds a pillow with them. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing some, some pillow making. Okay, uh, when you sign up for Celebration, you get a member gift. I, I joined as a member, and this was our member gift for this year. And it is a wooden uh, ruler with a, oops, maybe if I had it this way. Ha! Better. Okay, with a pineapple on it, and it's a, you know, a floss holder. And one of the designers, made a little scissor fob with a pineapple on it that goes with it as a small and it was very cute. I think I talked about this in my last video but I didn't have it with me. It was in the other bag of things that I bought but this is one last item of that I that I got from the actual event itself. Everything else I just bought because you know clearly I don't have enough to do. And I'm just zipping through everything so fast. Okay, so I uh, did an interview with uh, Maria Teresa from MTV Designs while I was there. And she designs very, very beautiful, uh, very 
feminine, like floral, like sets of things, jewelry boxes and little stitching boxes. And it has all the little components and, and things open. And you saw it from the video. Go back, watch the video if you haven't. You'll see her, you'll see what I'm talking about. And if you're into that, you will fall in love too. So um, I picked up something that I'm going to stitch as a gift for somebody. Uh, this is Feeling in Blue sewing box, and I won't make it into a sewing box. I'm going to make it into a, you know, like a like a keys and coins, like a tchotchke box or something like that. Um, but so I, and also from the Bush Mountain folks, so I got this from Maria Teresa and uh, Feeling in Blue sewing box. Oh, I should put it closer so you can see. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went by and I'm not using the same colors or this, you know, I'm not using what's called for in here because again, start watching floss tube and then you'll start changing things too. Because I used to be a, I picked the pattern. I did exactly what was listed on the pattern because that's what the called for. Right. And I'm very type a. So now I'm like, Oh no, no, I don't like that. I like this. So <laughs> I bought some stone gray, 32 count Lugana that, um, oh, is this beautiful and it feels lovely, absolutely heavenly. And I, I'm 32 count is really kind of big. I prefer like 40, 46, uh, you know, but this is just, it's the weave is so pretty and even and it's soft and it's got just enough firmness that I think it'll be beautiful. Yes. Yeah, you know, stitching in hand. Oh, wow. So there it is. 32 count Lugana in stone gray. And then I called for three blues in, in this, um, pattern. So for the three blues, I picked up from, um, Nina's threads, these three, uh, they are Caribbean, Sea Breeze, and Sailor. These three blues. And I'm going to stitch them on this. Ooh, look at those colors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I believe she has a little bit of a gold-ish thread running through, so I got this little bronze. If there's some details, in the little gold thread. This is like a twisted gold, silver, bronze. Uh, this is from Threadworks. It's a uh, Krynik fine number four braid over dyed. Uh, and I just, I just fell in love with that. So there it is. That will be um, the stitching, the feeling in blue box as a gift. Um, yeah, I think those colors are really great. Yeah. So you do, you, you, you know, you buy the pattern and then you run around to all the other booze, like picking out really great things. So that's what I did. <laughs> um, so that's that pattern from MTV. And those are those threads from Nina's threads and my craving. You'll see that again. So also at Bush Mountain, I had made a purchase and then I went back to my booth and then we were all picking up. It was like the very end, everybody's picking up to leave. And I walked by and I'm like, Oh, Wait, wait, what is that? Those are sulky threads? Hey, I've heard about sulky threads. Kathy Haberman at Hands On Design is making designs with, with sulky threads. So I found this, eight colors of sulky threads. They're for this design that Kathy Haberman at Hands On Design has out, but haha, -ha, look at them. Um, I thought, wow. Those are some beautiful colors. And I'm not even like a pink person, but that's, they're very nice. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna poke around and I'm gonna look for a design that calls for maybe eight colors. And I'm gonna use these and see if I like stitching with them because these sulky threads, supposedly one strand of sulky threads is like two strands of DMC and they're cotton. Um, so it'll be a nice, break a chain from the the uh the silks that i that i prefer to work in but we'll see this i have a feeling i might like this i bought the um to try this out 
I brought Plum Street Samplers Pennsylvania Fractor. Okay, now, oops, there, there's, there's a glare. Uh, this is a, I mean, you could frame it, you could put it as a pillow. This calls for one, two, three, four, seven colors. So uh, I'm going to use these colors to do this pattern and see if I like it. Yes. So I, I like Plum Street samplers anyways. I just think they're really great. So she's really great. Um, yes, Paulette Stewart, very talented. And I just love everything that you do, Paulette, like everything. Thank you for being here. Um, so on the same vein, <laughs> I thought, well, maybe, maybe there's another one that I would like. So I found one that has eight colors in it. Uh, and I said, okay, well, I'll try that one. That one has seven, but maybe I'll try one with eight colors. So I picked up another Plum Street samplers. Clearly I had picked up the Plum Street basket. Uh, and this is from her cereal bowl collection, uh, Sampler Lessons. Uh, this is lesson number three. Uh, the Daily Labors of the Bee Awake My Soul to Industry. Uh, and that is very cute. Uh, I couldn't pass it up. The bees, uh, all of that. I really like it. it. I mean, you can't even hardly tell it has eight colors, but it does. So I'm going to use these uh, to stitch this. Why not? Look, the brown and the ecru and that dark green. I think I think it'll look great, but that that's really great. So... Thank you again, Paulette. So two Plum Street samplers out of one idea. Sulky threads. Give those a try. Um, yes. Okay. So then I kept on trucking on. I'm like, oh, let's go to this booth and look. So I went to someone else's booth. And, you know, anytime I come across something by Jeanette Douglas, I kind of fall in love. Jeanette Douglas does wonderful things because, let me, whoop, what did I do with it? Oh no, hold on, I misplaced something. But, you know, I'm losing my mind. I didn't even go very far. I've just been sitting right here. <laughs> okay. So if you're stitching, just keep on doing what you're doing. Um, this is so funny. I, 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 hopefully I find it. <laughs> uh, I bought, obviously, Jeanette Douglas, this Learning Stitches Sampler. Uh, it's, it's really cute. And um, in person, it's even more. Everything is more stunning in person, of course. But I also bought the thread pack <laughs> that goes with this. Um, it's here somewhere. I just had it in my hand. But if you saw my pile, it's embarrassing. So here it is. Uh, I bought the, and it's spiral bound, and it's, I mean, this is, this is really great, the way it's done. Um, wow. And she even gets, like, um, hints and tips, you know, throughout. Uh, it's just, it's, it's really, I can't wait to do that. So, thank you, Jeanette Douglas. Um, oh, when I bought stuff at Bush Mountain, they gave me this little measuring square, Check it out. So it's a square. It has this beautiful um, bird cage, kind of um, laser engraved wood, you know, with a nice edge. And it, it had, this is a three inch square and it's marked off at two and a half and it's marked off at two. And it's wood, um, you know, with their logo on the back. But great, so it's, I mean, it's sturdy, it's wood. Uh, I really like, I like it. I like that it's like laser engraved. It's very smooth, but yet it, you can feel it. It has some relief to it. Really neat. I, you know, I'm like a middle starter. I don't even know why, because the, the arrows go to the middle. I just start there. But I think now that I went wackadoodle crazy and bought a few Hands Across the Sea samplers, uh, I'm going to need to start to learn to start in the upper left-hand corner. So this will be perfect for that. It's a corner gauge. <laughs> Too cute. Yeah. So uh, that I have. And then again, uh, let me take these tags off. Uh, at Old Colonial Designs, they uh, Pam puts on the Celebration of Needlework. So they also set up their store there. And let me tell you, they bring like the whole store. Uh, wow, that's, that's a lot of work to set that thing up and then to break it down. 
but of course they're selling beautiful things. This is another one of those where I saw the model and it took my breath away. And then you pick up the <laughs> a pattern itself and you're like, I never would have bought that because the picture is like, meh, meh, meh. But when you see it in person, you're like, oh, wow, the colors jump off the linen and it's amazing. So it's an Erica Michaels design. Abra Lowney, 1825. Uh, I mean, the picture is, you know, doesn't really do it justice is what I'll say. When you see it in person, it really is uh, quite stunning. And it looks like the colors are a lot more alive than they look in this picture. And in this um, pattern, on the back, she has pictures of the original. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Having pictures of the original? Yeah and then her reproduction. So I think that's neat. Um, and it, like I said, much prettier in person. The second time that much prettier in person thing happened, uh, again, walking by and I look up because they have, you know, lots of booths have the actual sample of, of the finished product, a um, something stitched. And I looked up and I thought, whoa, and this, this piece was big, it was like, it was big, you know, and it was vibrant and it, it was very stunning, uh, stunning against the linen. And I asked, oh, where's that one? And um, so he walked over to hand me the pattern and I thought, you know, this is another one of those that I, I would not buy the pattern if I was just flipping through the patterns. Uh, it's a, a Rosewood Manor. And if you've seen any of my prior uh, floss tubes, I completed the Autumn Quaker from Rosewood Manor. I'm going to eventually do all of them, but um, this one is Gray Friars Sampler from Rosewood Manor. And it, when it's stitched, it's a breath, it takes your breath away. It really is quite, quite stunning. The colors just pop. You can't see that in the picture. You know, the problem is the pictures, everything's flat. Um, but this I plan on doing in uh, Rosewood Manor. Usually they have a very kind of a larger count, like two, 32 or 36. I don't know. Their counts kind of, so their, their stuff is big because the weave of the fabric is so big, right? So I think I'm going to stitch this when I get around to it on something much smaller, 40 count plus, like maybe 46 count, um, or maybe even uh, 56, 54, whatever something much smaller um, weave uh, linen and I'll do it in silk. So I think the sheen would be beautiful and this, I mean, this is a beautiful sampler. Anyways, so way to go, Rosewood Manor. I mean, um, Karen Kluba does just really great stuff. I must like her style or something. Oh, <laughs> look at the pillows behind me. Oh my goodness. It's like she took the, <laughs> <laughs> flowers out of there. <laughs> oh goodness. You know, you are what you are. Stop trying to pretend that you're not. Okay. Um, yes. So I also did, um, an interview with, um, Simona from Manny di Donna, uh, and she's lovely. Her husband was there with her and all of her things are just adorable too. So you'll see, if you go back and watch that one, you'll see the uh, Like a Butterfly music sewing set. And I twisted it and it started to play and it, it was really awesome. Okay, yes, I bought it, I did. So it's in the video, you can see it for real, but here's the pattern for it. Um, I also um, purchased the music box that, you know, the music part that will go inside of the box. You can't really hear it, but you know, I'm twisting it in this thing. But, um, so I bought the music part and uh, I bought the little pins that are right here. I bought the little pins that go with it. So, and also here, there's um, the scissor holder and, and a, a beautiful beaded like necklace that holds it. And then there's this beaded scissor fob, but there's a, a stitched piece in it. So I purchased that as well. So here's the fob and you stitch it and put it 
in here. And then here is this is for the scissor holder. So it's like they have the whole kit, right? You know, so I got all of it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of one of those heirloomy kind of things. I really like it. You know, you do that and everything goes with it, of course. Um, and then a little further down, also is in the video, this is the, it's called the blue pot pillow. Uh, and the, because this piece here, the blue pot there, but it's, it's really beautiful. And you have this velvet, uh, this, the velvet on the pillow is really very nice. And I came across uh, this from Lady.Creates, which is the hand dyed velvet. And look at the color of it. Mm. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, so that, and then to go with this, I also purchased the scissor fob that goes with it. It's in, you know, there, there's it. And the pins that are in it, and these are the little um, button things that hold the floss. Oopie, you're not doing a very good job here. See those? Put it all down, you put it down. Right here, these little buttony things. I got those, I bought them, I bought these pins and the scissor fob. So it is, it's lovely and the colors are lovely. And so there it is. This is uh, everything that's going to go with it. Yes, um, and I, I don't have the floss or anything like that. So once I get around to getting started on it, uh, I will use that. And then I'm, you know, walking back and I come across, oh, Look at that from Shakespeare's peddler Jenny Bean's humble servant sampler. Okay. Okay. I'll buy that too. Why not? Because I don't have enough to do, you know, I'm a sucker is what I am. So kitten stitcher. Thank you. Thank you. You enabler. So, uh, this is hashtag kitten stitcher made me do it made me buy it. Uh, Shakespeare Peddler. Can't wait to do this one because it is beautiful. Uh, and I don't know if we can get the boxes anymore. We'll see how the situation with Pam and her husband uh, goes. Uh, I hope that uh, he teaches his daughter how to make the boxes because um, that would be great to carry it on. They're, they're such good quality and I, I love them. Um, so yep. I will do that one. Uh, can't wait. Okay. So my booth was across from uh, Rovaris, uh, from uh, Ly Lila, 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 I think it's Lila. Uh, she, I showed you, she had a smalls that was a bookmark that said summer and all of her items are on Italian linen and they're beautiful. So she, I bought this, this was a class that she offered. I wasn't able to take the class because I was uh, manning my booth but this is a bag with Italian linen and it has a summer, it's the pattern that's in here. And uh, this is the pattern and it comes with some little um, star buttons that go on that piece as well. So here's the linen for that. To stitch the summer and da -da -da, the bag. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if I'm even gonna put that piece of linen on it because I love this bag. Oh my goodness, look, it's Italian linen. Really, I mean, <laughs> it's lined in linen and I'm talking this linen feels good. Oh wow. And it it's beautiful, beautiful colors. It has little wooden rings stitched, you know, the, the, webbing okay and i mean this is fully open but it has it can collapse down inside and and these tie on each side so that it kind of goes in like that and the tie is this beautiful um um what do you even call that banding ribbon okay anyways it's stunning it's like linen uh ribbon and it has these cute little fish on the end I mean check that guy out okay so there's two so it's like you went fishing you know <laughs> and you tie them together and that is how you you know you tie the bag so it ties the bag 
Okay, this is so great. This is so summer and it's so classic. I love khaki, you know, when in doubt, khaki it out. So this is great and I love this color blue and uh, this is made to go on it like that. And, and I have the pattern, it says summer. It does feel like summer. This bag is just beautiful. So hanging next to it, of course, and I have just one. Hanging next to it was, she said, I, I was like, what is that hanging there? It's beautiful. She said it's a beach towel. Girl. In Italy, they must have the absolute nicest beach towels in the entire world. Because first I said, oh no, no, that's the most beautiful shawl I've ever seen. You know, um, scarf or shawl or throw for your couch. Because, <laughs> and it kind of matches the bag. So it is, here it is. Um, oh, it's beautiful. And she was pointing out that it, it has a band on it, on one end of it, it has a band of Italian linen and you can stitch on it. Put whatever you want on it. So I don't know if I'm gonna stitch on it or not, but it's, it again, it's this Italian linen. Look, I look at the set, uh, yeah. So uh, it's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And you know, it's big, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, uh, it's great. With my bag. I'm ready. I'm ready to hit the beach. Like on Cape Cod. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I, I love this. I love the stripes. I love the blue. I love the khaki. I love the stripes. Uh, and the linen. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Every time I look at it, I fall in love again. Yes. Uh, and the bag. So I spent three days looking at this bag and that. And that. I'm going to call it a throat <laughs> uh, that matches it, her beach towel. Uh, and I, I had to go home with it because oh, this is so nice. Wow. And if you were here, I, you know, I might let you see it, but you can't borrow it because it's awesome. It's my fish. <laughs> oh, so that's Rovaris. I did get one other thing from her, um, but uh, I have to find it. It's in here somewhere. Yes. Then I did an interview with, um, um, with, with the primitive hair, uh, Isabella Abiati. So she's lovely. She's lovely. You know, she lives, I think outside of Milan, I think. Uh, but she said she lives in the woods and it's like a fairy tale, which, you know, her stuff is like a fairy tale. So since I bought about a metric ton of stuff from her, I, I bought a project bag. Okay, me, at the Elegant Thread, I bought a project bag. So I make project bags, that's what I do. I like make sets of project bags. But, so it's just the bag, it's just one bag, and it's in her print, look at this, look at this. It's primitive hair print. That's cute. So what I'll do is I'll make an accessory or a notions bag to go with it. Maybe I'll make a, a fob and a minder. But this is, it's really great. So I bought this because I'm going to be doing some projects for her. Uh, on the back wall, she had stitched uh, a stitcher's sampler. Here we go. It was stunning. It says, my soul I feed with needle and thread. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, it, it, it's beautiful. So of course I had to buy the linen to go with it. Uh, and then I had to buy the thread pack <laughs> to go with it. So uh, here you go. There's the thread pack, there's the linen, and here's the pattern. And an added bonus. It smells like coffee. Like the primitive hair stuff is like full on sensory overload. It's beautiful to look at. The linen feels nice. The colors are stunning and it smells good. So uh, this, that's going to be a joy, a joy. I can't wait when I, um, when I finish that. Look at there's the bees all around, uh, the, the border there with scissors. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh. Isabella, you outdid yourself on that one. I love it. So I, of course I had to get 
everything to go with that. Thank you. Uh, and then, you know, I'm tootling the lawn. I'm like, oh, check that out. Okay, so this, of course, um, if you haven't heard by now, you've been living under a rock. But she has these printed linens that are stunning. And she has, you know, this, the one that I bought for that other one is just dyed. So it's just, it doesn't have a pattern printed on it. It's just dyed, coffee dyed. So it's modeled. Um, this one actually has this on it. So I bought it. The B. It's called Prim B Linen, 30 count linen. And uh, see, it has the print on it so this and this was a like a like a b going into the b skip uh but he's done in in kind of a bronzy gold and uh i'd already purchased oh, oh hey i found that we'll show you again i already purchased this and i thought oh that would be really great as the b yeah so I'll be doing that. We'll turn that around. Uh, and so you can see that together. And then inside, you can see the project itself. She uses a silk or a satin, yeah, that gets silk inside, like a golden silk. And she makes a, you know, a needle keep and scissor holder with it. I thought, you know, wouldn't that be great? But the back probably has like a velvet or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking this velvet with this fabric and this floss. Ta-da! Yes, 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 and yes. So I'm very excited about that one. Way to go, primitive hair. So that's why I bought the booklet. It was for that. That's on the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know it's coming. All right, so... The booklet also comes with two other patterns. <laughs> so I thought, I'm not buying the booklet for these, I'm buying it for this. But wait a minute. Okay, the pillow is very cool. This moth butterfly thing, yeah. And this cute little sampler, it says cross stitcher like in the, in the sampler. And they're on this other, um, it's like printed words with this, with this floral. It's called Vintage Rose, of course. Uh, that's to stitch that. Yes, um, so I'll flip it over. You can see, kind of see the rose on it. It's beautiful. Vintage Rose, uh, 30 count linen, about the primitive hair. So I picked that up. You can see the words on it. It's just, it's stunning. Uh, and I said, okay, I'll get it, I'll do that. So I'll, I'll grab this. And then I thought, oh, and I want to do this moth thing too, this little butterfly moth thing, because that's great. So I got another, <laughs> I got some more, <laughs> because I can do that one too. I'm a sucker. I am a sucker. And you know what it is, is when you go to these things, you actually get to see the stitched model. And then it's all, all deals are off because they're beautiful. So that was that, because she had these models all stitched. That's why I have it now in my possession, in my stash, which is stinking huge. I'm gonna need another room just to put all of my stash in. <laughs> I'm gonna need to start sewing some more bags. <laughs> um, yes, so that all that, that's all of my primitive hair stuff. Oh gosh, okay, so um, I was sitting on it. So we're back to this. We're back to uh, Jeanette Douglas and her learning sampler because I found this, I bought the thread pack that goes with it. And it's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. Um, they are um, the thread gatherer. There's some Gloriana threads. There's needlepoint ink silks. There's uh, the Rainbow Gallery has uh, threads in here. There's some by Access Commodities, Soi d'Alger uh, from them. Uh, yeah. It has lots of things. And then in here also is a charm and bead pack, of course. Mill Hill beads, a charm uh, by Jupiter, a thimble, scissors, and a heart. Oh, oh yeah. So, I mean, you look at it, you don't oh, really? Thimble, scissors? Every time you look at it, you see something else because it's really great. So that's, 
you know, I like the fact that Jeanette Douglas does that. You fall in love with this, and then you're like, and where's that? Here you go. So make it easy. Uh, and I love it. And I love that it's like all different kinds of silks and, and, and oh yeah. So it's, it's a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. You did a great job. Okay. Oh, that's my, sorry. My dryer's done. <laughs> um, okay. I think this might be my longest video ever because, you know, I'm in stash heaven now. Uh, yeah. So if you have any pointers on this stand thing, clearly I'm not doing something. Uh, time to go back uh, to the enabler named Nicola Parkman um, and see, I'm sure she has some videos on that or go back and watch Fauna's uh, video again. Yeah, so I got the stand because Gary and Vaughn have kept talking about it on Fiber Talk, how wonderful it is, and now I have it, and I don't know if it's so wonderful, right? Because I must be using it wrong. Maybe, I don't know. So I'm gonna keep trying, but um, I just wanna rip it off and put it in my hand, you know? Um, so we'll see if I can finish this thing on it. Yeah, maybe I didn't stretch it right, I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, I hope that you've had a, a great stitchy week, a great stitchy weekend, and um, that your stash is multiplying like uh, like gremlins, like mine is. <laughs> or maybe I've enabled you to purchase a thing or two, or not purchase a thing, to look at it, to go research it and have a look. What I did buy from Hands Across the Sea, I should say hats, uh, is the uh, Harriet Hartman uh, that I just fell in love with it when I saw it and um, so that is coming to me she is on her way to my house uh, and I will spend many many years probably with her <laughs> stitching stitching her I don't know how uh, Nicola does it she's these huge things and I know she doesn't stitch all of them she has um, some stitchers that help her but the one even the ones that she does stitch oh my gosh Oh my gosh, that Bristol um, orphanage sample. Oh, wow. It would take me the rest of my life. It's on like 56 count too. I mean, I don't know how she does it. It's really stunning. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there, uh, I've been, you know, catching up obviously on uh, binge watching her stuff. I've been also watching uh, Pretty Southern and, you know, some others that I just love. Uh, yeah. Drop me a note. Say hi, and uh, keep on stitching. Talk to you later. Bye.